Lay down. Down. <laughs> Good girl, Winnie. I have spent my whole career in healthcare and started to engage with health technology more when I myself got sick. I have Addison's disease, which is a rare genetic endocrine disorder. Um, it is degenerative and basically you stop producing uh, predominantly cortisol. We don't have tons of great data about how the human body uses cortisol. Over the course of you know my first six months with the disease, I looked at my own biometric data. So I did it the old fashioned way for a while. So I had like a blood pressure cuff, I took my temperature, um, I checked my pulse, and then I got an Apple Watch. it comes with the built-in heart rate monitoring. I basically data dump all of my biometric data and look at over, over time. And with trended data, you can correlate, did my dose make sense? Did I get it right or did I get it wrong? You know, looking at that longitudinal data is what helps you be able to do that. We're still so early in the adoption curve, but the application is so much broader. So whether you're someone who's trying to run a marathon or someone who's trying to lose a few pounds or you know, you're recovering from a heart attack. Using a watch to help coach you through, that is huge. <laughs> you goof. <laughs>